Japan has issued a tsunami advisory following a powerful 6.7 magnitude earthquake that struck the country's northeast on Friday, marking the third major seismic event in the Pacific Ring of Fire in less than a week. The tremor has escalated fears among global geologists that the Earth is moving towards a grave danger scenario, a catastrophic mega quake event. This warning comes on the heels of a disturbing geological pattern observed throughout November a near total silence in major tectonic shifts contrasted by a violent surge in volcanic activity friday's 6.7 magnitude quake is not an isolated incident it serves as a grim punctuation mark to a peak of escalating violence in the earth's crust monday december 8th a massive 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of aomori northern japan injuring at least 34 people and triggering tsunami waves between 20 and 70 centimeters. Saturday, December 6th, a 7 magnitude earthquake, the Hubbard Glacier earthquake, shook Alaska. Seismologists are alarmed by the trajectory. We are seeing a migration of high magnitude energy across the Pacific plate, noted one geological analyst. The Alaska event on the 6th seems to have destabilized the northern arc triggering the Aomori quake on the 8th and now the 6.7 magnitude shockwave today. To understand the current danger, experts point to the data from November 2025 which presented a terrifying anomaly. Historically, the Earth releases pressure through regular earthquakes. However, November 2025 was statistically quiet for major global quakes. According to global seismic data, the month saw earthquake activity slightly below average for magnitude 7 plus events with only one notable magnitude 7.2 in Vanuatu. There was no big one to release the accumulated stress of tectonic convergence. While the ground didn't shake, it burned. November saw a drastic spike in volcanic eruptions, hinting that the Earth was trying to release pressure that couldn't escape through fault lines. Mount Semeru in Indonesia on November 19 unleashed a giant pyroclastic flow, signaling deep magmatic churning. The Haley Gabi volcano in Ethiopia on November 23 erupted for the first time in over 10,000 years, a historic event proving that deep earth pressure has reached critical levels. The Fuego volcano in Guatemala on November 30 began a surreal phase of explosive activity. The tectonic plates were stuck or locked together. Friction prevented them from sliding, forcing the trapped energy to liquefy rock and burst out as magma. The recent sequence of quakes of magnitude 7 plus in Alaska and Japan suggests that the lock has broken. The plates are no longer stuck. They are slipping violently to catch up on the motion they missed in November. The fear is not just about these individual quakes. The fear is that the stuck period allowed stress to build up to a point where a simple 7 magnitude release isn't enough. We are looking at the potential for a rebound effect, a mega quake of magnitude 8 or higher. Japan's meteorological agency is maintaining high vigilance, while the immediate tsunami advisory is precautionary. The underlying message is clear. The Pacific Rim is currently unstable. Residents in coastal areas are urged to remain prepared for immediate evacuation, as the geological window for a massive event remains wide open.